So being a jury member, I mean, it's a big responsibility. I mean, we're handing out a million dollars. A million dollars, most people make that in an entire lifetime. And somebody got lucky enough to make it in 39 days out here. Um, so for me, it's important to separate the game from kind of emotions, in my opinion. I, know I like to think, okay, who played the best game? You know, even if I was on the short end of the stick or, you know, so-and-so voted me out, am I going to be bitter? Of course you're going to have a little bit of animosity toward whoever voted you out or you're going to be a little bit bitter. But at the end of the day, this is a game and the person who plays the best should be rewarded. So my approach going into the last tribal council is going to be, Tyson, you have my vote. Tonight, it's your vote to lose. You know, so I'm going in thinking I'm gonna vote for Tyson, but if Jervis's speech is ultra compelling, or Monica gives the speech of a lifetime, maybe they can pull me. They might be able to pull me. Or if Tyson, if he chokes, you know, maybe, maybe he'll lose me, is kind of the approach I'm taking. So I'm going in with a plan. The easiest case to make is for Tyson. Tyson has been the kingpin. Tyson's been calling all of the shots. He is, the jury perceives Tyson as the leader. He's been leading Jervis, he's been leading Monica. And at the end of the day, yeah, Tyson has the most blood on his hands, but Tyson has done all of the work. And who do you reward? You reward at the end of the day, who do you, in the real world, if you're out there working, you get paid. Tyson's doing all the work, and I think this is the culmination of 39 days, and it's time Tyson gets paid. Jervis has been a floater throughout the game. He, he's played that atypical floater game. Well, in Survivor, a lot of times, the floaters can win. They, they can win because he's attached himself to Tyson, who has all the blood on his hands. And at the end of the day, when Tyson cut somebody's head off, Jervis would go up and repair the relationship. And he would say, hey, Hayden, you know, you know, we're friends, man. You know, it's, it's kind, of, kind of Tyson that, that's been behind all this. So in a way, Jervis, he doesn't have the blood on his hands. So he can go to the jury tonight and say, hey, guys, you know, I played a pretty honest game. It was Tyson. Like, Tyson is the reason you guys are going home. And whether or not the jury stays bitter is going to make or break Jervis's game. And I think Jervis is banking on a bitter jury. And that's been his plan all along is say, hey, I'm going to go with Tyson. The jury is going to be bitter. And I'm really going to throw Tyson under the bus. And if it works, Jervis is going to win. Monica's personality in the game has been that of a mother. I mean, she has been selfless at times. Actually, not at times. Like, Monica's a selfless woman. Like, she, around camp, she's up getting water cooking breakfast, making coffee, making tea. Hayden, can I get you anything? Hayden, did you sleep all right? You know, Tyson, you know, here's this, here's that. Like the, the mother role is kind of what she's done. And Monica, to her credit, has been 100% loyal to her alliance, to Tyson and Jervis. She never strayed once, like not once. She didn't make a big move, but she didn't have to. It got her to the end. And one more feather to Monica's cap is She's won the most immunity challenges of anybody. She won three. I think Tyson's only won two. Jervis has won one. So that gives her one up. You know, she's got a, she's got a little piece to the resume that Tyson and Jervis don't have. And that's, hey, I kicked your guys' butt in the challenges. Um, whether or not it's going to be rewarded, we don't know. And really depending on her speech, can Monica give a compelling speech? Can she say, hey guys, this is why I deserve to win? And if she gives a good speech, you know, maybe, maybe she can. Tyson is that class clown. You know, when you were in high school, you had that kid in your class that you think, gosh, this guy's an idiot. And that's Tyson. Like he is the total class clown, goofball, doesn't take anything seriously. And that, that's him. He has this, uh, charismatic personality that kind of draws you to him and he has a sarcastic humor that can come across multiple ways he can come across as a villain as like hey you are you're a jerk bro or he can come across as like hey that guy's pretty funny and it kind of depends where you're at you know in terms of are you the butt of the joke 
Um, and Tyson, sometimes, you know, he, he's inconsiderate and he's a little bit childish, even a little immature. But at the end of the day, I think he is a good person and he means well. I am completely open-minded at this point. I think Tyson played the best, but you really don't know until we start to, to break down the game and get some of these questions answered.